Hey, uh, one thing I like to do to uh, strengthen up my left hand here is uh, I take one of the heaviest sticks I have. This is a 2B. Pretty heavy stick in my opinion. Well, I usually use toothpicks, so yeah, anyway. When I use these, when I go, my, when I go to my toothpicks, it's a lot easier. So what I do is, instead of having a practice pad and having the same response as a regular snare drum or any other drum, I like to use a pillow. Just gotta put it on a chair where it's uh, about waist level, almost parallel to your leg, and just play with it, you know? And just, I, I like to uh, grab a metronome here and, I don't know, somewhere starting around 150, but if you're slower, 120 is a good place to start because I was, used to be really weak with my left hand, but I used to develop more and more. When I, when I get tired, I relax for five minutes and push it up five more beats per minute. So right now I have it around 170. It's not that fast, but... That's nothing, right? But I like to do eighth notes with my, my left hand while doing accents with my, my right hand as well. So I go... Just make up your own patterns as you go along. Just have some fun. You can, you can hit the arms of the chairs as accents, you know. And it looks really cool in drum solo when you have one, uh, one hand up here and it sounds like you're doing a two hand roll. And you'd be like, and you just switch it right around and be like. And it's really good for practicing too because it really strengthens up your, your weaker hand, whether you be left handed or right handed. So. Just show you, I'll just play it around a little bit. And that's basically so you know whenever you're around the house you have nothing to do you're bored and you, you, have, you happen to have a chair a pillow you sit down nice and comfy and just grab a metronome or you know what just stomp your foot with it just strengthen up really have to strengthen up your, your weaker hand because in the long run that will become more and more important because you don't end up sounding like always having your right hand do the accent or your left hand do the accent if you're left handed because it's really going to sound really really noobish and all these other drummers on YouTube are going to make fun of your videos like they probably will now on mine about my technique and crap but you know it's all about developing your own style having your own feel and make sure you really get comfortable because don't start off at 250 beats per minute like a black metal black death metal drummer you know, it's not going to happen. I can't go past 210. 210 was the fastest I ever did. But uh, be patient. Make that weaker hand more and more strong. In a week from now, I'll probably have it up around 190 beats per minute. You know, it's all good.